Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a haul of all of the new Sylvanian family sets that I got recently. I have a lot of really fun things here, like the Flower Garden Rabbits, which was a theme park exclusive in Japan. Um, I also have the Sylvanian Kitchen Chef and Waitress here, and a lot of other really fun things. And for this video, I mainly wanted to focus on the new figures and families that I got. Um, I have been getting a lot of furniture sets as well, so I'll be doing another haul dedicated to those. But for this video, I mainly wanted to focus on the families. And I do want to say that I did not get all of these all at once. Um, these have been coming in for the last month or so, so I know it looks a little bit crazy, but I promise I did not go out and buy all of these in one day. Um, I got most of these from Kobe japan but there's also some things from ebay and local toy stores but yeah i'm super excited to have all of these sets and share them here i personally love watching these types of videos so i hope you guys enjoy it as well so the first thing that I wanted to share are the flower garden rabbits. Um, these were actually a gift from my mom, which I'm super thankful for because I think this family is so beautiful. I love their outfits and the yellow theme they have. I especially love the mother and father's outfits because they just go together so well. I love the dad's little green overalls here. Um, and the rabbits themselves are kind of yellow colored and they have pink inside their ears. And they also have the cutest little flowers on their noses, which I love and this is a pretty rare family because they were only available at the Sylvanian Garden theme park in Japan so they were pretty expensive to get but I'm super thankful that I have them and these were actually the last rabbits that I needed to get to complete all of the Japanese um, regional exclusive rabbits um, which were only released in certain theme parks or Sylvanian stores in Japan so I'm super happy to have them all now and here's a little sneak peek at all of the Japanese exclusive rabbits and I'll be doing Doing a dedicated video just on these as well so definitely stay tuned for that so next from kobe japan i got the border collie family um, this was a limited edition release during the 35th anniversary for the Sylvanian families and I've actually been wanting this set for a while now but they've always been sold out from all the US sellers so I'm very glad that I finally have them and I think this family is so adorable I love the little babies that they come with and kind of just the overall look of this family I think they're super unique um, I'm a huge dog person, so anytime they come out with dogs, I have to have them. So yeah, I'm super excited to have these and set them up in some of my houses. So next I got the Forest Kitchen Chef and Waitress, and these were also from Kobe, Japan. And on their website, it says that these were only sold at the Sylvanian Kitchen Restaurant in Japan, which is super cool. Um, I actually got these to put them in my village bakery back here because I think they'll fit in there super well. Um, the chef looks like he could be a baker, so I definitely had to get these to set them up in there. And I know there's also an older version of this set with the cottontail rabbits, and I do want to get those too, but this set has the chocolate rabbits, which are still really cute. So next I got the chocolate labs, and these specific ones are the newer version of the Hunter Smith chocolate labs. Um, they're pretty similar to the original ones. They pretty much have the same outfits, but their faces are a bit different. Um, I kind of like this version more than the original just because I think they look a bit cuter and their faces are a little friendlier. And I also got these from Kobe Japan and I just thought they were so adorable. Um, I really like the dad's outfit here with his little orange vest. And I also feel like you don't see these very often, so I definitely want to get my hands on them. And then I also got these Santa Rabbit Twins, which are just so cute. And these are the Cottontail Rabbit Babies, and it comes with a Santa Baby with a little beard. And then this one on the right, I'm assuming, is Mrs. Claus, since she's wearing a dress. And I love how their ears poke out through their hats. I thought that that was such a fun detail. And I know it's not anywhere near Christmas, but I really wanted to be prepared to set up a Christmas village this year with all of my buildings. So I'm definitely really excited to get these and set them up in there. So next I got the barbecue picnic set with the elephant girl and this was also from Kobe Japan. Um, I think this is such a fun set. It comes with this picnic table and chairs, a little grill and a lot of food and small accessories. And I mainly got this because I wanted to set this up in like the front porch area of my Primrose Lodge. I think it would look really good there because it kind of matches like the outdoor camping vibe. So I'm super excited to open this up and add it to my collection. 
So next from eBay, I got this set called Cherry's Day at the Seaside. Um, this is a discontinued set that was made by Flair, but I really wanted to get this to set up a little beach area with my seaside restaurant, so I was really happy that I was able to find it. Um, it's a pretty small set, but it comes with a chocolate rabbit girl and some other accessories. I really love the beach chair and the little floaty that comes with this set. And when I bought this, it actually came bundled with another set, which is this one called the girl swimwear set. So this comes with another chocolate rabbit girl and a little baby. And they also have a basket with another beach towel. And I think these girls are so adorable. I love their pink swimsuits. So I'm really excited to set both of these up in a little beach area. And I recently discovered a local toy store that was pretty close to where I live, so I picked up a couple of things from there as well. So the first thing that I got was the Bright Field Goat family, and I've actually had my eyes on these for a while, but I kept pushing back getting them because I was focused on buying other sets. But I think this family is so beautiful. I love the mother and daughter's dress, and I also love how the father and son have little mailbags. I think that's such a cute detail, so I'm super excited excited to have these and add them to my collection. And then I also got the Silk Cat Family. And I know these have been out for a while, but I usually never buy cat families because I'm not a cat person. Um, I don't really like cats, so I only have a handful of cat figures, but I saw these at my local toy store and thought that they were so cute. Um, I really liked how the girls had pink noses and the boys had brown. And I love the coloration on them. They kind of have these white markings on their face and their ears. And I also love the blue theme with their outfits. I especially love the mother and daughter's dresses. I think the floral pattern on them is so pretty. So I'm really happy with these. And my local toy store also had a really good selection of babies. So the first set that I got were the fairy tale friends. And these were released for the Sylvanian family's 35th anniversary. Um, they're supposed to be limited edition, but they're still available in a lot of places. So it's still really easy to get them. But I think these are so adorable. My personal favorites are the elephant and the brown rabbit. And I think they're supposed to be the dwarves from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves because there's also the baby set with the prince and the princess. And the princess looks like Snow White, so I think that's super cool. But I also thought that these would be useful for Christmas time because they kind of look like little elves. So I'm definitely really excited for these. So next I got the ice cream cuties and I also picked these up from my local toy store and this set comes with the caramel dog, dale sheep, and polar bear babies dressed as little ice cream cones which is so cute. Um, I love the colors they chose for the ice cream. There's a blue one, a pink one, and a yellow one. And it's so hard for me to pick a favorite between these three because I love them all. But I definitely have to go with the pink one just because pink is my favorite color. And I also picked up the Veggie Babies, and this set comes with the Beaver, Marshmallow Mouse, and Sweet Pea Rabbit Babies. Um, my favorite one is the Marshmallow Mouse in the middle dressed as a tomato. I love how she has the little tomatoes on her ears that kind of look like space buns. And the other two babies are dressed as an eggplant and a bell pepper. And then the last place I went to pick up the last few things in this haul was Aldi, which is a grocery store we have here in the U.S. Um, I actually found a couple of Easy Buy sets here that were all only $8.99, which is a really great deal. So this first one is called the Sunny Rabbit Mother's Refrigerator Set. And this just comes with one figure, a pink fridge, and some smaller accessories. And it is an Easy Buy set, so it's not as detailed as their regular sets, but I thought that it was a really good deal, so I decided to pick it up. And then the next set that I got is the Sunny Rabbit Babies bunk bed set. And this just comes with this pink bunk bed, two blankets, and the elephant and Sunny Rabbit Babies. And I mainly got this set for the Sunny Rabbit Baby because I think he's really cute. And I also don't have any figures from this family, so I wanted to add them to my collection. So the last set that I got is called the Sunny Rabbit Girls Bath Time Set, which comes with a bathtub, a toilet, and a shower. And it also comes with a dress for the Sunny Rabbit Girls, so you can put that on yourself when you open it up. And here in the back of the box, you can kind of see everything it comes with. So I thought the set was pretty cool and it was a really good deal. 
So those were all the families and figure sets I picked up recently. I'm so in love with everything and I'm super excited to have all of these in my collection. I can't wait to open everything up. And like I mentioned earlier, I did pick up a lot of new furniture sets as well. So I'll be doing a separate haul on those just because it was going to be way too long to include them in this video. So definitely stay tuned for that. But yeah, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you in my next one.